What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to find the perimeter of compound shapes. So, let's begin. First of all, we need to understand that compound and composite mean the same thing. Depending on the school that you're in, you might hear either of those terms, but it means the same thing. And basically what it means is that we've got more than one shape that have come together to form a new shape that might not look familiar bit like this one we've got on the screen here. So what steps are we gonna to follow today? Well, step one, we're gonna convert all of our units to make sure we're measuring in the same units. Then we're gonna find any missing lengths, and then we're gonna add all of our lengths together to get the perimeter. So if we take a look at this first shape we've got here, what we should be able to see is that we had an original rectangle made up of this little pink rectangle I'm building now, and there was an original triangle. And what's happened is they've been pushed together to form this compound shape. And what we need to remember is that perimeter means the measurement around the outside of our shape. And a good way to remember that is if we look at the word perimeter, we can see the word rim here in the middle. And the rim is the outside. If you think of the rim of like a cookie jar or a jam jar, the rim is the outside of that opening hole. So in this case, we can see our measurements. We can see that we have 90 centimeters for this top length. We can see we have 120 centimeters down this side of the triangle. We have 1.7 meters, so a different unit, across the bottom. And we have one meter down this side here. So we have these four different measurements. And if we think back to our step one, it said convert all units because we need to make sure our units are all the same before we can think about adding them. So the first one at the top here is in centimeters. So let's convert everything to centimeters. Well, 120 centimeters is already in centimeters, but we have 1.7 meters over here. So if we have 1.7 meters, what we need to understand is that every meter is made up of 100 centimeters. So one meter equals 100 centimeters. So if we look back to our 1.2, we can see we have one whole meter and we have 0.7 of another meter. So what that's saying is we have 100 centimeters added to 70 centimeters. So my total is 170 centimeters. So where this length is here, 1.7 meters, we can rewrite it at 170 centimeters. And then this one's a little bit easier. We have one meter over here, and we just said one meter equals 100 centimeters. So this length can be converted to 100 centimeters. And now we're ready to begin. And if I look at step two, it said find any missing lengths. Well, we don't have any missing lengths in this one. This is only a green chili challenge but we now need to add all of our lengths. And to do this, I'm simply gonna use column addition. So I had 90 added to 120, added to 170, and then added to 100. Draw my equal sign, put my plus, my ones, tens, and hundreds, and I'm ready to begin. Looking in my ones column first of all, zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Then in my tens, nine plus two is 11, plus seven is 18. So I can carry my one across into the next column, put my eight in the tens column. Now looking at my hundreds, I have one, two, three, and my new one, so four. So I have 480, but don't forget to put back my units. I have 480 centimeters. So in this case, the perimeter of this compound shape equals 400 and 80 centimeters. Or if we want to write this in meters, we could say 4.8 meters. Job done. Let's turn it up a little bit and look at this orange chili challenge. And first of all, I can notice I have a missing value here, this question mark. So let's see what we've got. We've got 10 centimeters at the top, two centimeters, then 30 millimeters. Then we have this gap, which we don't know. Then we have 70 millimeters and seven centimeters. So let's start by converting all of our units. And I think because at the top we have centimeters, let's keep everything in centimeters. So I have 10 centimeters, we'll keep that there, two centimeters, and then here I have 30 millimeters. Well, we have 10 
millimeters is the same as one centimeter. So if we have 30 millimeters, that must equal three centimeters. So I can get rid of this and put three centimeters here. And again, across the bottom, I have 70 millimeters. So therefore that must equal seven centimeters. And then I have seven centimeters on this side as well. So now that I've converted all of my units, I need to look at stage two. And step two says, find any missing lengths. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we have this missing length here. How are we gonna see what its value is? Well, we need to look opposite. And if we look at this length here, we can see the opposite length is seven centimeters. But that seven centimeters includes this area here that we don't need. So how do we get rid of this value here? Well, let's look next door and we can see that this value is two centimeters. So what we need to realize is that if this whole length is seven centimeters and this little area here is two, then the rest of it must be the difference between seven and two. And to work out the difference between seven and two, I can just do seven subtract two equals five. So this value here where the question mark was must be five centimeters. And we can check that by saying, well, if this is five, and I add the two that was here, two plus five equals seven, which is the same as the opposite angle. So everything's correct. So step three said, add all of our lengths. So again, I'm just gonna use column method, start with my 10, then add my two, then my three, then my five, then my seven, and then finally my last seven. Put my equal sign, ones and tens, and I'm ready to begin. In my ones column, zero plus two is two, plus three is five, plus five is 10, plus seven is 17, plus seven is 24. Put my two into the tens column, my four into the answer, then look at my tens column, one and two equals three. So my answer is 34. So the perimeter of this compound shape is 34 centimeters. Or if I wanted to put it in millimeters, I would need to understand there are 10 millimeters to every centimeter. So it's gonna be 10 times larger. So it'll be 340 millimeters. All right, now it's time to get super spicy. Let's get to our red chili challenge. And what we should be able to see is this is harder because we don't have a few measurements here. So I'm missing this length where the question mark is, but I'm also missing this length and I'm missing this length just here. And if we look at this length, I've only been given the whole total, so I don't even know that length there. There's loads going on. Let's see how to tackle it. So first of all, we're gonna convert our units. Well, in this case, I see everything is in centimeters, so that's not necessary. So I can skip straight to stage two, which is find any missing lengths. Now for organization, I'm gonna label my lengths here. I'm gonna call this length A, and we'll call the opposite one B, this one C, and then this one down here as D. So we need to find four missing lengths here. How are we going to do it? Well, let's first tackle A. And we can see that A is going to be this line just here next to the question mark. So if we look next door, we can see we have this total from the top to the bottom of our shape of 17 centimeters. And then if we look next door to that, I can see I have part of that length as nine centimeters. So if we know that up to here, where I've drawn this circle is nine centimeters, but we want to find this top part here, I should know that if I get my 17 and I subtract nine, I'm gonna be left with eight. So therefore, this area here, where our first missing measurement needs to be eight centimeters. So A equals eight centimeters. So if A is eight centimeters, we can see the opposite will be the same because we've got this square at the top. So if A is eight, then actually B must equal eight as well. Now we have this really tricky little one, this C just here. Well, let's look opposite and we can see the opposite length is 20. We have all of this length just here as 20. 
So if we look opposite that length, I can see I have part of it as eight centimeters, but we also have another part here of seven centimeters. So what I need to do for C is get my 20, and I'm gonna subtract eight, and then I'm gonna subtract a seven. So 20 subtract eight would be 12, subtract another seven equals five centimeters. So C, even though it looks super small, is actually five centimeters. And all we're doing is we're looking opposite to see those missing lengths. And finally, D is an easy one. All we're doing is we can see this length here, look opposite, and we're actually given the entire measurement of nine centimeters. So D equals nine centimeters. Wow, there we go. That's all of stage two done. There was loads to do. Now we're ready to add all of our lengths. And this time what I'm gonna do I'm going to draw around my measurement, adding as I go. So I have 7, then I'm adding A, which is 8. So 7 plus 8 is 15. Then I'm plusing another 8 at 23, then 9, so 32. Then adding 20, so 52. Now I'm coming up to D, which is another 9. So 52 plus 9 is 61, plus C, which we said was 5. So 61 plus 5 is 66 and then plus my B, which is eight. 66 plus eight is 74. So I think that this perimeter of this shape is 74 centimeters. Wow, what a challenging one. So now it's your turn. And this, I've got to say, is a real challenge. Can you work out the perimeter of this shape here? I'll take answers in millimeters or centimeters. Put your answers into the comments section and press pause on the video now. So take your time, good luck. And there we have it. That is how to find the perimeter of compound shapes. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel or heading over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more videos covering everything that you need to know about primary maths. But for now guys, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.